Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be looking at creating a wave mission. The question was asked on YouTube, how would you go about creating a mission where you're tasked with defending a location and then from all different points of the compass around you, enemy are spawning in and attacking you. The first command that came to mind was this little fun command called bisfunk relpos. And I'll just do a quick scripting video based on some possibilities of different ways of doing this. As an example, uh, what I'll just do is I'll make a circle of cars appear around the player, and I'll just give you a good basic um, idea of how the how the script works. So three different parameters, and I'll just copy the example. Um, the position we'll, we, we create we'll call spawn pos. We'll turn that into a variable. Uh, the center of our position will always be the player. And then I want the vehicles to spawn 200 meters away from the player so that the distance field I'll change to 200. And because we want a circle of cars, I'll change the direction into a variable called i. And this will become very clear what's happening soon. From the Create Vehicle Wiki, I'll just copy the example they give. And the only thing I'll change is instead of position player, we'll use the new position we've just created. And to make this script run 360 times, I'll use the for command for i from 0 to 359 do this script. And we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this into game and we'll see what happens. I need an underscore there actually. So now we're in game we'll uh, find a way of activating the code and I'll just use a simple trigger uh, blue for present on activation just paste our code in there. And I'm still not used to this new editor. There we go. And if we hit preview, we should instantly see a circle of cars appear around the player. Sounds like a couple have collided, but uh, ah, uh, 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 just ignore the explosions. But as you can see, that code's created a massive <laughs> circle of cars around us, um, which seem to be having fun exploding. So we can do better than this. We can make a, a wave attack script. So I'm going to tab back out, and we'll start creating a new new piece of code. Right then, um, I've paused the video, I've written a new script. If you're wondering why I'm using Pastebin, by the way, it's because um, since my update to Windows 10, Fraps hasn't been able to record uh, a notepad or a word, um, so a little bit hard for me to do external scripting. So what I've done as a compromise is I've just written uh, a spawn bracket around it, and that'll allow us to use more comp uh, more more advanced commands like wait until or sleep. Um, I will take the time to externally script all these uh, and then in the demo mission you can download from the description of the video you'll be able to see what it looks like from a, an external scripted point of view. And that should make your life easier. Uh, but this will do for now for the demo. So I've changed the first bit of the script from 0 to 359 to 0 to 1 and this is indicating the number of waves I want so this is going to be two waves if you wanted three waves just change the number to 2 if you wanted six waves change the number to uh, 5 and so on and so forth we're using rel pause again uh, random 360 this time, so the helicopter could come from any position on the compass. Spawned vehicle, uh, instead of create vehicle, we're using spawn vehicle, the function. 
and we're giving that spawned vehicle a do move waypoint or do move command. The, I typically use waypoints but since we're just doing a demonstration do move will do fine. And the last thing that's quite important for this I guess is to control how many waves are coming. So in this case I've used the wait until and we're going to wait until the helicopter spawned is dead before the next wave comes. Perhaps if you were doing uh, infantry you could use a sleep command here instead so wait 20 seconds and then spawn the next wave and that just saves a bit of CPU really um, it, it helps with FPS if you release the waves slowly if you do too many at once or you do too many in general then you're going to have a massive FPS drop on the server or even on a single player so let's copy and paste this into a new trigger okay so now I'm back in the editor I've moved our old trigger to the side I've created a new trigger and I've pasted in our code. Um, just because I'm excited to use a cheater, I'm going <laughs> to change this to free waves. Uh, remember the directions the waves come from are completely random. Um, so if you gave it an attack helicopter, for example, this might be a bit more of an exciting mission. Uh, okay, so it's come from our right hand side to start with. The next wave shall be completely random. Okay, so it's on our left side this time. I have no control over uh, where the direction these are coming from. It's completely random based on our script. And the last ones come from basically in front of us. Uh, now that wave number three is over, then that's the end of the end of the waves and the script will just turn itself off. So can we do this with infantry? Uh, yes we can. I'm going to tab out again. will be infantry and what we're going to do here is have 10 waves. They're going to be spawned at random points on the compass 300 meters away from the player and the only thing we've done differently this time in terms of the position is I've used another command called bisfunc find safe pause and the reason you want to do something like this is to determine whether the space that's been selected by uh, rel pause is actually safe for the infantry to be spawned in because you could imagine them being spawned in the sea or perhaps being spawned inside a rock or uh, inside a, a vehicle um, so spawn pause will look f within a distance you define so in this case it's 150 meters it will look uh, to see whether there's a safe position and it will randomly select a safe position within that 150 meters the variable we use is spawn pause I've just redefined it by using safe pause uh, again different command spawn group this time and I've used a waypoint so we've given it a waypoint to the group to move towards the, uh, the player if you want to look at some more advanced scripting of waypoints by the way I've got a uh, spawning units tutorial just click on the name of my channel and you can browse my uh, channel and find the spawning units and there's a specific video on the waypoints and the last thing I've done is this time I'm releasing the waves every five seconds so we'll have a wave of ten men well sorry we'll have ten waves of ten men every five seconds until the script ends so let's test this out so that's pretty much it uh, new trigger I press preview and every five seconds we'll get a new wave coming at us only thing you probably want to change really is uh, putting these waves beyond visual range when they spawn in. I've just made them quite close for obvious testing purposes. So there's one wave. 
and maybe we'll see one spawn in as we spin around. That's pretty much it for this video, hopefully it was useful. See you next time.